So we're gonna go over uh, prone positioning for lumbar surgery. Uh, we already have the patient on the table here. Um, you can see he's pretty bad off. But uh, one thing I want, want to notice that the bed has been what we call reversed, or the, the normal head of the bed has been placed on the longer side. And what this does, it allows more room in between the base and the arms to get a, a fluoroscope in underneath and localize for surgery. So you'll do that after the patient is positioned and usually prepped. Um, the other thing I want to call your attention to is how the arms are positioned. So in this position, he's a little bit too extended. This is going to uh, cause increased risk for both ulnar and axillary nerve palsies postoperatively, so we want to minimize that. So you can see he has one foam that's on this armrest, which is actually attached to the head of the bed, again, to give us more room for that C arm to move up and down. But we're going to bring his arm into a more neutral position, or what we call Superman, and you want to think 90 degrees here and 90 degrees here. So if he's like that, he's going to be much more comfortable. We're also going to provide additional padding over his elbow here and pad the ulnar nerve. And that is going to pad two things, actually. So one, when the C-arm comes up, if the image intensifier rests against his arm here, it can hit his ulnar nerve here, but it can also compress the radial nerve and the radial groove along the humerus here. So you want to both have a lot of padding and be cognizant of that as you're moving the C-arm back and forth. Ryan Rad here from NeurosurgeryTraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.